take him to the Gestapo dungeon. you a secret agent for the United States government? No. Get Captain Devine. Yes. Captain Devine. Do you know this man? I have never seen him before. We know him. A spy smasher. Spy smasher? As French Provost Marshal, it is your duty to execute this man as a spy. For a spy or no spy, I will not execute any man without legal trial. All right. Then I shall execute 20 of the French hostages. You see my position. You will have your firing squad ready in an hour. paper I found on Spy Smasher. The Führer's new order to the mask. Well, if this fell into the hands of the American authorities, our plan to flood the United States with counterfeit money would be ruined. Perhaps this Spy Smasher has already warned the Americans about the mask. That is possible. So I'm leaving immediately after the execution to report the danger to the mask himself. friend, you are in grave danger. I realize that. Some of your men shot supposed to me. I thought I was hit. If I had issued blank ammunition, Lazar would have noticed that no bullets hit the wall. Lazar is smart. Did you arrange my passage to America? Yes. You will be smuggled into Lisbon, and then you can. to Lakeside Junction. Lakeside Junction, 9.47 tomorrow morning, sir. I beg your pardon. Have you got a match? Certainly. Spy Smasher.
Mighty grateful. That's all right, Jack. You know me? I ought to. I'm your twin brother. Alan! Well, I thought you were killing that plane crash in France a year ago. So did everyone. Even the news service I reported for. That's why I became Spy Smasher, so I could fight the Nazis on their own ground. Now it's time to fight them here, in the United States. Well, that man who mistook me for you. Were you trailing him? Yeah. He was head of the Gestapo in Paris. Well, what was he doing here? I don't know. Do you know anything about him? Oh, I never saw him before. He came in and asked the porter what time we arrive at Lakeside Junction. There's nothing of any military importance at Lakeside Junction, is there? No, only that's where I'm going to visit my fiance. <laughs> oh, so you're engaged now? Yes, yeah, she's a swell girl, Alan. She's the daughter of Admiral Corby. Who is Admiral Corby? Now, he's a retired naval officer that was recently appointed commissioner of the Naval Intelligence. If the were going there, it could only mean trouble. We've got to warn Corby at the next station. We can't do that. He and Eve are driving down from Washington. Well, I have no idea where they'll spend the night. Is there an airport at the next stop? Yes. Yes, there is. Well, grab your luggage. We're going to charter a plane there and fly to the Corby estate. Oh, someone just came into the drive. Were you expecting someone, Dad? Why, no, dear. Oh, will you see who it is, David? Let me do the talking. Something's wrong down there. Take the stick. I'm going to bail out. I wonder what on earth can be keeping David. I don't know, but we'll find out. I can tell you what's keeping him. What's the meaning of this? Just a minute. Open that safe. I'll do nothing of the sort. Nice going, Dad. Shall I work him over? No. Not him. I'll open it. See what it is. Spice Major. Right, Admiral Corby. Oh, Jack, we didn't expect you back for hours. Oh, well, I came down by plane and took a taxi from the airport. Just as I was arriving, I saw what appeared to be a holdup. One of the men dropped this. Oh, my papers. Something they stole from you, Admiral? Yes. A new mine chart of Shark Bay. 
for your own protection and Eve's, I think I'd better swear you in as an operative in my department. Now, if you could loan me one of your cards, I'd like to go to my apartment address. Why, certainly. Alan! What was it all about? Just a little visit from the mask's agents. He almost succeeded in getting the mine charts of Shark Bay. Shark Bay isn't particularly important. What would he want with that mine chart? The mask is trying to flood the United States with counterfeit money. And Shark Bay is an ideal spot to smuggle it ashore. Ooh, do you think he'll attempt it again? I don't know. It's unlikely. Unless the upset at Corby's came too late for him to change his plans. We can't take any chances. We've got to be in Shark Bay tonight. Come on. There she goes. When do we meet the surface boat, Captain? Less than half an hour, Your Excellency. Good. I'll start them from the board. M1, calling the mobile unit. M1, calling mobile unit. Calling the mobile unit. Come in, mobile unit. This is the mobile unit. Drake speaking. Everything is ready here, Excellency. Then proceed immediately to the contact point. You will receive your first consignment of American counterfeit money. The four boys you will pick up contain well over a million dollars. Distribute it as you have been instructed. Yes, Excellency. You heard his orders. You two get in the way. Okay, come on. Right. Position, Excellency. Depth 10 meters. Fire the boys. Forward torpedo room, report. Forward torpedo room, all tubes ready, sir. Number one tube ready. Fire. Number two tube ready. Fire. It's high time we got better acquainted. Hey, Lowe, that boat's heading this way. We can't get caught out here with this stuff on board. Sink that other buoy.
turning into the old cannery wharf. What happened? No rum runner's trick. The fishing that's fouled our propeller. It's the one that didn't take the bottom out. I'll cut it loose. Got it all right? Yeah, we got it all right. Got shut up, too. We lost Walker. Well, that's too bad. They didn't fall, did they? No. No, we lost them. Come on, let's get these boys in the truck. Once the money's split up, you handle it. I'll talk to him from the truck and see if he has any further orders. Right. Hey, look out for that tank. Well, what's the matter? There's 5,000 gallons of high test fuel in there. Well, don't worry. I'll watch, I'll watch it from now on. Come on. who smuggled that boy buys the cigars at the Acme Cafe. Say, that is a clue. Now we've got two clues. This and that boy. Let's open it up. Wait a minute, Jack. I think I'd rather have Admiral Corby do that. You better take it to him. And get some dry clothes on and meet me at the Acme Cafe. Yes, sir. I'll have a roast beef sandwich and a cup of coffee, please. Yes, sir. Let me have some of those perfectos. Everything downstairs. Couldn't be better. We brought enough of that stuff in to buy all the tea in China. I'd better get going. case of those grenades in the hand car. Drake wants them delivered to the warehouse. Right.
Admiral Corby speaking. Spy Smasher. 424 West Street. I'll bring a raiding squad immediately. Change for a five. Spy smasher. That's right. I'll get over there. Blow the tank and fill the tunnel with flame. 